What is going on? What is going on? Because understand, I share a house with someone who's not, not there yet, but I'm working on it, right? And it's a headache. <laughs> but hey, I got my section over here. Got my organic mangoes. Bang. Kiwis. Bang. Great for anxiety. Great for immune system. Baby bananas. The only bananas you should be dealing with. Not them big Cavendish banana hybrid fake clone GMO mucus forming bananas. Only baby bananas. Bang. Organic apple. Bang. Not. Don't deal with green apples. They're high in acid. Organic avocado. Great. For omega 3s. And again, most of the stuff I eat doesn't need to be in the fridge. It's just we keep it on the counter. We just keep it on the counter. I didn't get my meals. I just realized I didn't get my meals. Kill apple gingers. Kill apple ginger juices. Got yeah, set to the bottom. Shake it up. Bang! Magic. Set to the bottom. Shake it up. Oh, shake it up. Bang, magic. So this will be my first meal of the day. Kale apple ginger with parsley. Uh, I didn't get my meals. I got to make my milk. I did a whole live showing you how to make your own milk. See, I'm just getting back from West Virginia. So I went to the grocery store, got all my stuff I needed, all my fruits. Um, yeah, got my dried mango. This is my candy, right? Make sure it's unsweetened. There's no added ingredients. Doesn't matter the brand. Just make sure when you turn it around, that the only ingredient is organic dried mango. See that? Shouldn't be anything else. Shouldn't be no cane sugar. Shouldn't be nothing added. Oh, y'all asking about fibroids? Bang bang. Black Mission figs. Shrink fibroids. Eat these daily if you're dealing with fibroids. All figs are good. Black Mission figs. Or good for fireboards. Um, my bad, my bad. Where is the other stuff? Like I gotta get situated since I'm back here. Um, I'm missing something. I don't remember what I was looking for. Oh, I was looking for the milk so I can make my own milk. Where the hell is this at? Y'all probably, I just realized the camera's all up in my face. I'm looking crazy. There we go. There we go. Dang. I told y'all. I did a whole live showing you how to make your own alkaline, vegan, sea moss, electric, milk. So I got to make a batch of that because we don't need to deal with the other milk, I noticed. See, like, that's what I'm talking about. We ain't on the same page, right? Which is good sometimes, because I can go into my fridge and pull out some stuff I don't put in my body. So you got almond milk, right? Which is a good transition from your typical radiated mucus, calpus that you're drinking, right? <laughs> but again, let's turn this around, look at the ingredients. I don't typically like to deal with stuff like this, right? Cane sugar, tricalcium phosphate, natural flavors is always worrisome because that could be anything, right? Because if you dip your, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> The gum, the gum, all of this, you don't need that, right? So I make my own, right? Um, yeah, this is almond. This is, see there's some oat milk in here too, which I don't typically recommend oats. Instead of eating oatmeal and oats, use spelt flakes. It's the same thing, but spelt is not acidic like oats are. So you don't need your oatmeal. Get spelt flakes. It's the same thing. Same texture. Same taste. 
Let's see, this is oat milk. I always get, should you drink oat milk? Again, oats are acidic. Get spelt instead, but same stuff. The gums, the natural flavors. We don't want to deal with all that, right? Because natural flavors is a name they use so they can throw in things that if we normally seen it, we might be like, hold up, I don't want to put that in my body. So we'll just put them in natural flavors. Natural flavors could be anything, right? So again, I do my own thing. I got my corner. This is my corner. <laughs> and yeah, anyways, it's another conversation. We'll cover in the future. <laughs> How do you make your own milk? I did a whole live showing you all you need. That's what I was. Oh, I got stuff. See, I got stuff just over here sitting on my counter, <laughs> on my uh, end table. Right. I'm like, where's the rest of my stuff? There we go. Because I was snacking on it. Got walnuts. Brazilian nuts and dates, right? So I use the dates. I snack on them. They're low on the glycemic index. So they're not going to spike spike your blood sugar levels like other sweeteners. So you should only be using date sweeteners or organic agave nectar, which I believe I have. Yeah. Agave nectar and date are the only sweeteners you should be using. They're the lowest on the glycemic index. They're good for you. Um, then I showed you how you can cook the dates and put them in a blender or food processor and make your own date sugar. You can make date syrup. I use the walnuts in my milk maker. I put a, about a half a cup of walnuts with some spring water, sea moss, bladderwrack, burdock, root, some dates or agave nectar. And that is it. And that makes my milk, right? I could show you some gel stuff and show you how to make your own milk with a sock and some walnuts, right? But then it gets crazy. And then y'all start thinking I'm, I'm weird. But just understand, no matter what the circumstances, right? If all you got is a sock, if all you got is a sock and some nuts, you can make milk. <laughs> for real. I'm going to have to do that live for y'all one day, Right? Um, yeah. Water, best type brand. I did a whole live on that. It's on my YouTube. I did two videos on that. Same name. I feel like it was something else I wanted to show y'all or tell y'all. But again, I'll just be going off the top. Um... Got some red kale yesterday. Some oranges. Oranges are typically good. There's one orange that's the best for you, but I'm not. I don't even ever give the name out because it's almost impossible to find. You're only gonna be able to order it, so we won't go there. Red kale. Red kale. Best thing for iron. Put some red kale in your salads if you're anemic, because it's the correct type of iron. Right. Um, trying to open it with one hand. All kale is good, but red kale is better. It has more nutrients, more minerals, more iron in it. Well, this ain't working. I mean, you should know what. I mean, I can't say that. I always think like people should know, but a lot of people don't. So yeah, red kale it has a red hue to it. Good for circulation too. Anything that has a red hue to it, good for circulation. Red onions, red kale, watermelon, um, cayenne pepper, red pepper, green pepper is great for regeneration. Anything grid, green, grid, anything green is typically good for regenerating, regenerating cells. So your green peppers, things like that. Start thinking in colors. I deal with language. I deal with colors. So I'll put red kale in my, I'll make a smoothie. I'll put some hemp seed in my smoothie. I need to do that for y'all. 
guess I could do that now. But then this will turn into like a three hour live. Yeah, this will be a three hour. I'll do a separate video. Maybe tomorrow I'll go live and show you all what I'll put in a smoothie. But sometimes that's just what I'll have for dinner. But typically I'm dealing with the juices because pressed juice is more easily digested and broken down in your body than a smoothie, right? It's the easiest to digest. So if you're dealing with digestive issues, PCOS, GERD, all the other names they got, Crohn's, any of that, start getting your nutrients, your food. You could literally just drink pressed juices all day and you see changes really quick, right? Um, but yeah, if I make a smoothie, I'll put red kale, I'll put hemp seed. So red kale is my iron, hemp seed is my complete protein. I'll put spring water or some of the milk I make out of walnuts, the sea moss, bladder rack, burdock root. Um, I'll put some blueberries, some strawberries, some mango. Um, what else? I'll put some cacao powder, right? Where that at? Where that at? Oh, I'll put some spirulina. Spirulina is amazing. Spirulina powder. Bang, bang. Uh, cacao powder. It's in this container. I don't feel like getting it out. But that's the original chocolate. Comes from the cacao seed, which is typically um, comes from Mexico. Right? That's where chocolate comes from. It's cacao. So lower in acid i don't use a lot of this because cacao does have a slight amount of acid in it but if you have that taste for sweet instead of dealing with chocolate especially milk chocolate just get cacao powder and make sure that there's no added ingredients you always want to make sure it is only cacao powder right there Ingredient cup up, right? Nothing added. So I'll put that, sweeten the smoothie up if I want. Not all the time though, and I'll take it light on that. Put some agave nectar in it, sweeten it up too. Or just throw like three or four dates in it. That's even better. Um, yeah, like I said, my hemp seed. Hemp seeds. That's the protein. And you're good to go. You don't want to put peanut butter in it because I did a whole video on peanuts. How they're high in lectins, that's your digestive system. Um, yeah, that's my smoothie. Simple, simple stuff. I know when I make these videos, like y'all think it's super complicated and what am I gonna eat? But it's really super simple. Like, keep it simple. I pretty much showed y'all everything I eat. Bang, bang. Hemp seed, cacao, uh, uh, uh. Juice, kale, bang, bang. Got a blender. I don't even got a food processor. Like, mangoes. Dried mangoes, no added ingredients. Dates, walnuts, Brazilian nuts, spirulina, uh, kale apple ginger juice. Make the smoothie like water with chlorophyll in it. Liquid chlorophyll in the water adds oxygen to the cells, oxygen to the body. A lot of us aren't getting enough oxygen to ourselves, which is why we have disease and illnesses. Put a drop of that in your water and your 100% mountain spring water. Uh, allergies, I showed y'all this. This is great because this is what I was mixing myself. And then I found a company that actually had the product with everything I would mix anyways. I even did a video, three best um, herbs to stop seasonal allergies, right? And this one has all of it, rosemary leaf, butter burr root, marshmallow root, and stinging nettle root. Bang. So if I'm having allergies because the season's changing, I was in West Virginia, so it's a lot of trees. My allergies were bad. I had that. Every morning, just pop that, take a drop. Good to go. Um, I'm just showing you everything right now. <laughs> uh, what else? I don't know. I need to get off here, though. I've been on like two hours now. This is going to be a long video for y'all to rewatch and sift through. So it'll be up on YouTube. You can break it up throughout the week. Watch 15 minutes on your drive to work, whatever you got to do. Then you'll be set. I spent my day with you all today. I know you live next door. Everybody lives next door to me. You're the 50th person in this live that says 
you live next door, but I was outside. I said, come out here and say what's up. Lean over your balcony and say what's up. And none of you came outside. You could have got on the live if you really live next door. <laughs> so stop with the nonsense. Because I'm free. I got the new Xbox. So come on over. We can hop on the Xbox since you live next door, right? <laughs> All 50 of you. We can have an Xbox tournament, 2K. We can play Halo. We can play Call of Duty, whatever you want. Because I got time. All right? I sent out plans. I still got some more to send out. But I got time, all right? Since 50 of you in this live live next door, come on over. We will hop on the Xbox and get it in. Netflix and chill. I got Netflix, right? <laughs> the, do the door is open. <laughs> Y'all funny. Yeah, let me get off though, because I'm just looking at comments, and I know another comment's gonna come up, and it's gonna spark me to go on a 30-minute rant. And before I know it, the day will be gone. The TV's bigger. Oh, we're doing a who's bigger challenge today. Okay, I didn't know that's what what was going on. <laughs> I didn't know that was what was going on. I thought my TV was a good size, but everybody like a different size, I guess. <laughs> this is, I don't even know what this is. What is this, like a 65 or something? I don't know. I think it's 65. I thought I was doing something, but damn, apparently somebody got the whole wall TV. Damn, I guess I got to upgrade. I got to step it up a notch. Yeah, follow me on Instagram, follow me on YouTube, same name. The replay of this two-hour live is going to be up on my YouTube by the end of the day. I'm about to drink my kale apple ginger parsley, chill, wash my face off because I was just walking for like two hours, for like an hour, hour and a half. Probably going to do some calisthenics. I could go to the park here in Hollywood since it's 90 out today, <laughs> work out, or I might just go on the porch. I might just do push-ups. I don't know. I'm going to do something else. Just chilling today. I'm all over the place. I got this out. All right. I'm going to eat that now. Take my things over here. always be worried about how other people look. So I said, I hope you're through writing on yourself. Right? Like, why are you worried about how I look? You be worried about how I dress. It's ridiculous. Because I could look at you if you have a photo on your page and I could say tons of things. But I'm a nice guy, right? I'm sure I could go in on 10 to 20 topics about how you look horrible or I don't like how you wore that or this color, like, but who does that? <laughs> it's got to be more to life than talking about how other people look. I was teaching my nephews that. I have a nephew that's in ninth grade and a nephew that's in seventh grade. And I was at the rec center with them. We were watching a game. And, you know, like, they're at that age where, like, making fun of people is cool and all that. They're like, there's a ref. It's like, oh, that ref looks gay. Or why is that boy wearing his socks like that? Or why is... And I'm like, yo, why the hell have y'all been sitting here this whole time just talking about people? I had to smack them on the back of the head. I'm like, why are you worried about what this man is doing in the privacy of his bedroom, right? Because you're making fun of him for his preferences based on because his shorts are a little short, even though his wife's over there in the stands, right? 
and you're worried about what he's doing in his bedroom. Say he was doing something with another man in his bedroom. Why are you as a straight ninth grade male worried about what he's doing, right? That is smack him in the back of his head. <laughs> but they're at that age where making fun of people at school. Every person walks by, oh, those shoes are whack. Why are you? I'm like, yo, I got to be in town more so I can raise y'all right. Because <laughs> y'all sound ridiculous right now. No, see, that's the, that's the difference. I don't just, I love replying to nonsense. Because <laughs> you got the wrong one. You got the wrong one, son. People think, I realize what people think is, um, people think that people who are going through things, they use the internet to bully other people, right? So they come to like a page like mine that has a big following. And they think because it has a big following that the person me as that person, I guess, <laughs> all over the place. They think that because I have a big following, they can come on my page and just talk nonsense. And because I have a big following, I may not, I may not see it, or I wouldn't respond because people with big followings typically don't respond to every comment, right? So they think they can just get their bullying off, their fix of bullying for the day off on me, not knowing that I got time. <laughs> so when you think you're talking shit on me, I'm going to see your comment and I'm going to talk shit right back to you. So now you didn't get your bullying off for the day. <laughs> so go to someone else's page to get your fix. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm very immature. I'm very immature. <laughs> I'm immature and I got time on my hands, right? It's a bad combination. So if you want to be disrespectful to me, you ain't getting your bullying off on me. All right? <laughs> Because it cracks me up. They're like, oh shit, he actually responded. Oh shit, he actually went to my page and saw me and seen that actually, never mind. I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> right? Because they're like, why is he wearing the do rag sideways? Why is he wearing pink? He's gay. He's a transsexual. Why is he doing this? Why is he wearing glasses? Then I go to your page and you have no photo and your name's user 897 right? Or you have a photo which I could roast <laughs> for 30 minutes. But I won't do that because I'm a nice guy. I just like to joke and have fun. Uh, HDMI 1. But yeah. <laughs> Shout out to UK. Hmm. <laughs> Right, so your good-looking son can still look good with the writing on him because that's his choice. It's his body, just like it's my choice and my body. And I may have been in a different stage in my life 10 years ago where I felt the need to get writing on my body to relieve depression or stress. Like, you know, you don't know what's going on with my life. Just like I don't know what's going on with your life. So I would never tell you what to do and what not to do. Right, because everybody deals with things differently, right? So be careful. Be careful. Shout out to Baltimore. Because maybe when I got this tattoo that says pain is temporary, I was going through something that was causing a lot of pain in my life. And I needed to just be able to wake up and look in the mirror every day and be like, pain is temporary, pain is temporary, and have that as a reminder, you know? Or maybe I was going through something where I felt like something was never ending, so I got outlast on my chest. Right. So I could just remind myself when I look in the mirror, like no matter what I'm going through, if I can just outlast this pain, if I can just outlast everyone else that's ahead of me that and I can just keep going and keep consistent and outlast everyone else. Then in the future, if I stick with it, I'll be ahead of everyone else. Right. Or maybe I went through something where I, like, you know, you never know what people's going through. I have regret nothing here. Maybe I did something where I'm like, ah, I kind of regret that. But then I had 
to realize, stop regretting things because it's a, it's a life lesson, right? So maybe I needed that reminder. I don't know. Maybe laying there in the chair and having a needle in me just stimulating my mind because I was going through depression and stress and things like that and anxiety. This is at the time where doctors were trying to put me on pills, right? And I can keep going. You know, I can keep going, right? Reasonable doubt right there. Take the positive, leave the negative. Because based on my upbringing, what I come from, people had plenty of reason to doubt me and think I wasn't going to be shit. And the teacher telling me I was going to be dead or in jail or selling drugs or on a corner and everything like that. So I put, you know what? People do have a reason to doubt me, but I'm going to take all the negative things that I've been through. So I remove the negative things and take the positive as a lesson. Right? Maybe that. What else we got? What else we got? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> we go on and on. See, this is what I'm saying. That's why I was going to get off the live because I've been on here like two. This is going to be a long live for y'all to rewatch. So. Um, but yeah. If you need to heal cancer naturally, you want my one-on-one disease consultation program. That is what you want because everyone's different. Everyone has a different type of cancer. Everyone has a different starting point. Everyone's more severe, less severe. So it all depends. Um, I don't recommend turkey meat. I don't, re you're not going to get me to recommend any meat. Yes, fully alkaline. The one-on-one -on -one healing consultation program is 320. That's for a full year. You get my phone number. It's personal phone I'm on. Text me, call me, send voice messages anytime you need. We do an hour consultation first to get set up, figure out what's going on. Go super in depth about uh, what herbs to take, how to mix them, how to make them, where to get them, um, how many milligrams, how many IUs of minerals, vitamins, different amino acids based on what you're dealing with. It's all mapped out for you. Fasting protocol, what foods to eat, what foods not to eat. That's all laid out for you. Happy birthday, Ella. Enjoy your birthday, Ella. Ella, Ella, Ella. That could have been code word to get my page taken down or something. <laughs> but hey, hopefully... It's really Ella watching us. And Ella heard me. And Ella's having an amazing birthday. Somebody said, hey, go to your window. What is going on? Why is it today everybody live next to me? Okay, cool. What did you get for your birthday, Ella?
Why does everybody come on my live and tell me Jesus loves me? I get it. I know. If you believe in Jesus, then of course he loves you because that's what Jesus said to do, right? You don't have to tell me 50 times in my life. <laughs> I don't know what that question means. I got moved to the back. I'll sit here and crush all these mangoes. Did a whole video on legs. On on legs. <laughs> I've done videos on legs. On how to tone your legs and glutes. I've done a whole video on eggs. So, yeah, I gave you like 25 reasons why you shouldn't deal with eggs. You're dealing with vertigo. Start dealing with fruit. Do a fruit fast. Time you're done with like any type of like neurological issues, food is going to be great for you. I am not a believer. I believe in nature and mother nature. Oh, dang, I'm dropping my mango. All right, these are the last two pieces. Yeah. <laughs> this is not OnlyFans, bruh. This is not OnlyFans. This is only for supporters of holistic health. This is not OnlyFans. Oh, I'm dropping my phone. This is not only fan. All right, I'm off because I need to get this call. I'll catch y'all tomorrow on my OnlyFans. <laughs> it's like, nah. I ain't there yet. I ain't there yet. I'm thinking about making one, though. To put all my videos that get taken down on TikTok on my damn OnlyFans. Because TikTok's taking my stuff down. So I'm just going to make an OnlyFans account and put up the topics that are too rated R for TikTok. And as a bonus, if you tip me $50, I'll talk about it with my shirt off. <laughs> Yo, I know I'm weird. I'll be laughing at my own jokes. I crack myself up. I don't think that's a bad thing. Ah, my nose itches. All right, I'm off, though, because I'm about to start drinking this and read comments. I'm out. Peace. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Same name spelled exactly the same. This live, which we're probably coming up on like two hours, will be up on my YouTube, typically by the end of the day. I already talked about arthritis, so for you asking that, you're going to want to rewatch the replay on my YouTube, so subscribe so you don't miss the video. Same name on everything, YouTube and Instagram. Peace, peace, peace. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.